Hi, this is Bob Moore with Alpha Software, and we're going to take a look at doing background geolocation data logging with uh, iOS today. So this is going to be using PhoneGap, and we're going to be using a plugin uh, to collect the uh, background geolocation data. We made this really simple for you on, in the uh, current uh, release. If you uh, let's say we'll go up and open a UX component, and what we've done is we've now added in. Uh, if you look for uh, the PhoneGap prefix, uh, so we've added in a component, uh, a template with iOS background geolocation. It'll tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so it requires uh, these plugins, device geolocation, status bar, and the Cordova-background-geolocation-lt. Uh, it was tested with uh, iOS 9.2.1. And it tells you a little bit about some things that you need to do to make it all work. Um, so these uh, samples are, uh, are provided to you so you can study them so that they'll work and uh, you, can, uh, you can modify them as required and use them uh, in your uh, apps. Okay, so uh, we've now loaded the component. We can take a look at the, the uh, controls. We can get an idea of what it might look like, although obviously it's not going to, uh, to work because it's not in PhoneGap. But in this case, we've got a... Uh, a panel card with a start tracking button, stop tracking button, and a, uh, a map. And uh, as it tracks the uh, geolocation data points, uh, those will be highlighted on the map. And uh, the latest point will be centered, so the map will center. So uh, it's fairly easy to actually do this. Um, and what we'll do is we'll take a look at uh, how this all works. Uh, client side event, what we're going to do is on phone gap ready, because remember this is a phone gap app. Uh, we're going to uh, call a function called initialize geo. We look into our JavaScript functions here. You'll see our initialize uh, geo function. Here we just uh, uh, set up some preliminary things. And, uh, and you have to, when you use this plugin, you always have to make a, uh, um, a geolocation, uh, get current position uh, to prompt the user uh, that just at least once to tell them, you know, we're going to be using uh, background, we're going to be using geolocation. Uh, they have to approve that. In this case, then we instantiate this uh, uh, BG underbar uh, BG geo object, and we uh, instantiate uh, with the window.background geolocation class. We can set up a bunch of options here. Uh, I think the most important one that you're going to play with is this debug true. Um, so what that's going to do is it's going to send uh, local notifications and it's going to beep when it uh, when it gets a uh, uh, a new location. It's good for uh, good for testing. Um, and uh, then we can see uh, we've got a start tracking geolocation. That's what happens when you uh, tap on the button. You can study the code there, see how that works, and. Uh, then when we get a result, we uh, update a map, we update the uh, longitude and the latitude. Uh, so this is kind of nice. It gives you a, a working uh, component that you can play around with. And uh, in, in this case, you don't need to do anything. You can just All you have to do is save it. Uh, and we'll just call it uh, uh, test geo location. And uh, go ahead and save that. And all you need to do now is uh, go into the PhoneGap Builder. And uh, so when you set up your project, you're going to have to pick your, uh, your initial component. And here's our test geolocation component. And you'll notice, you'll notice that uh, the plugins that are required will already be checked. Now, if you're going to use this in the PhoneGap shell, all of these uh, plugins need to be part of the shell, but if you're going to just build a standalone app, uh, then you should be all set. So this one uses uh, device, uh, geolocation, uh, notification. Actually, I don't think that's used, but it's checked. And uh, the important one is this background geolocation uh, dash LT. Remember, this is only for iOS. So in this case, um, we're done. I'm going to hit the Save button here so that we can take a look at the configuration file. There's something I want to point out to you here. Uh, and if you click here to view or edit it, this is the uh, PhoneGap XML, uh, config XML file that gets loaded up to PhoneGap build. Um, so this is important right in here. This sets up the plist that's required for iOS. And, and here we can see where 
our UR, UI background modes uh, are being set uh, to true for location. So we're going to be doing a background uh, geolocation. That has to be in there. That's automatically installed in here when you select this uh, plugin. So it should be all set for you. You shouldn't really need to do anything there. Uh, and right now I could go ahead and uh, submit this project to PhoneGap Build. And in a second, we're going to get our, our build phone. There we go. Let's move that aside. So once PhoneGap build is done, we'll get a QR code that we can scan in. There we go. So we'll go ahead and we'll go, go ahead and scan in the QR code. Install that app. And we can see it installing. We'll go ahead and close this. And let's go ahead and launch this. So here's our application. Uh, if I, I can go ahead and just start tracking, and uh, it will now start tracking my location. If I, and now, of course, I need to move in order for the map to, uh, to update. Um, if I go into the background, so I can just um, so send this app into the background, you'll notice that I get a notification because I have that debug set to true. So I get the lat long uh, coming through. Now, one of the things that you absolutely must do in order for this to work um, consistently in the background is you're going to have to go to your iOS settings. This is iOS 9.2.1. Uh, go into privacy, go into location services, uh, and then you, you need to uh, find your app. So um, in my case, I've got, um, I've already set it. So background geolocation is set to, um, it, it will by default say while using the app, but you need to set it to always. Once you do that, um, then you should be all set. Okay, and that's about all there is to it. And uh, of course, now I can just come back into the app and it's it will continue to track. And when I click on stop tracking, it will stop uh, tracking. So uh, I hope you find this uh, functionality um, kind of exciting. There's a lot you can do with this. And I think it's nice that we've got the now the uh, templates that make it uh, easy for you to build these quick little sample apps that you can play with. Thanks.